Hello readers, this is Abhishek from Technic Media. Uh, today we are going to tell you some tips and tricks which you can do with your Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, these tips and tricks will make yourself like a pro uh, using Samsung Galaxy S2 because uh, you will be very productive while using different applications on the phone. So let's start with it. Okay, uh, so on Samsung Galaxy S2 you will have several screens like this. In case you want to switch in between all these screens or you want to quickly preview what is all on these screens actually. So you just need to place your finger here and then uh, place it for a, for some time and then it will show you a scroll bar kind of a thing. Uh, uh, actually a kind of a horizontal scroll bar which, you, which either you can see it or not. It is below my finger actually with which you can scroll through all the screens very quickly and uh, get a preview what is all on these screens actually right now as well as if you want to place some icon on any of the screen you just need to uh, put your finger on the screen and then it will sh show you the options for placing widgets shortcuts folders and wallpapers you can change the wallpapers you can place folders you can place shortcuts as well as you can place different widgets uh, uh, which are inbuilt in samsung galaxy s2 okay. apart from this if you go over to the all applications menu uh, through the touchface UI you will see all the applications the same you can do here as well you just need to place your finger like this and then it will show you the horizontal scroll bar as you can see with which you can uh, scroll through all the sc screens of different number of applications and then get a preview uh, as well as if you want to change any of the screen uh, you just need to pinch and zoom over the screen and then you will see all the screens and you can slide the screen from first to second position and second to third position as as you like the same you can do with the uh, home screens as well uh, you just need to pinch and zoom and then it will show you all the screens and then you can change the position of the screens uh, the position of the screens uh, like just just by keeping your finger on one of the screen and dragging it to a different positions apart from this uh, if you want to change the brightness of Samsung Galaxy S2, normally you need to go into the settings and then you need to change the brightness. And another, uh, the, the quickest way of changing the brightness in Samsung Galaxy S2 is you put your finger over the status bar, uh, over the top status bar and then you slide it like this or you slide it to the left or to the right and you will see the brightness of the uh, on the screen will change. This is actually very unique in Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S2. You won't find this thing in any other Android phone. Uh, apart from this, uh, one of the unique feature in Samsung Galaxy S2 is this, the motion sensitive feature, in which uh, once you enable this feature, the motion activation feature, you can easily zoom in and zoom out over an image just by placing uh, two of your fingers over the image. Okay, so let's select this image over here. And just in case you want to zoom in and zoom out over a particular image, you just need to do like this. You have place two of your fingers and zoom it like this. Zoom it like this. Apart from this, uh, you can do a lot more other things as well on Samsung Galaxy F2. Uh, like you can uh, do a kind of a pinch and zoom in the browser as well when you are browsing on in, in, on web through the using the default browser on Samsung Galaxy S2 if, if you want to switch in between different tabs or the different website which you have opened you just need to do the pinch and zoom thing here as well and then you can open a new website in a new window as well as in the website if you want to zoom in and zoom out you can use the motion uh, feature just by placing two of your fingers and you can move the phone like this and it will zoom in and zoom out so this is something very good in Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, apart from this, you can also do an LCD test of in Samsung Galaxy S2 by dialing star hash zero hash sorry star hash zero hash. So so basically, you will have different different things here on the LCD as you can see on the screen you can test different parts of the screen, uh, LCD screen uh, with all these different options you can test the speaker you can test the sensor and the, you can test the accelerometer sensor as well then you can test the vibration you can test whether the receiver is working or not whether the microphone on the phone is working or not whether the front camera is working or not so this actually provides you 
all the options with which you can you like test the entire screen as well as its uh, entire phone as well as its functionality apart from this you can do uh, so in order to search on samsung galaxy s2 you just need to place your fingers over this properties key the soft key over here and then it will automatically open search irrespective of wherever you are whatever application you have already opened you just need to place your finger for like 2 seconds over the properties or the menu key here uh, which is the soft key uh, this one and then it will automatically open the search uh, apart from this uh, some other tweaks or some other tips and tricks you can say in samsung galaxy s2 like it supports the uh, changing the font of the phone as well so you just need to go in there go go to the settings I'll just show you you just need to go into the settings and then you need to go into display and then you need to select the screen display over here and then you need to select the font style so right uh, by default it has this default font applied on all the samsung galaxy s2 you can choose uh, this funky font that is coco coqui uh in samsung galaxy s2 as well as so by default it offers three fonts you can also install more fonts from the android marketplace and this way you can change the font of samsung galaxy s2 and make it look different as compared to other samsung galaxy s2 so these are some of the tips uh, which we have just mentioned you we will we are going to write about more other tips uh, in this article in which you are seeing, seeing this video right now so you can read the entire article to know about all the other tips which are there which are actually helpful for you to use samsung galaxy s2 in a productive way uh, thanks for watching this is abhishek signing off from tech tech media uh, thank you